Hey everyone, happy Saturday. I hope that y'all are having a beautiful Saturday. It feels so good here in Alabama. It is truly fall. It is breezy, easy, just a wonderful day. And I wanted to check in with a message for you all that I hope is always encouraging and brings some light into your day. Um, I was reading last night about Joshua chapter 15 and he was talking about his daughter. And his daughter, he was saying, you know, I want her to have the best, right? Basically, I want to bless her. I want to honor her. Joshua, not Joshua, Caleb, he was dividing the land, right? And he was saying, hey, whatever man captures this particular uh, land, well, they'll get to marry my daughter, right? Because my daughter is a prize. How many of you fathers out there know and treat your daughter like they are a prize? And I think that's what's lacking in so many relationships with fathers and daughters that they have that connection where, you know, they're the best thing since sliced bread, right? And that they're looking for someone to to make their life better, that they're going to be a man of valor because he had raised a daughter of valor. So therefore he was looking for someone that was well-learned, that was a warrior because his daughter, she was well-learned. They lived in the city of learning, right? So she was well-read. So why wouldn't he want the best for his daughter? So he was like, if you can capture this particular city, well, the man who does that, they'll get to marry my daughter. And so anyway, this man comes along, captures the city, wins his daughter's heart. And he says, you know what? Why don't you ask your father? He's gifted us with this land and that land to bless us with even more of this. And I think sometimes we get so, I don't know, shy about requesting our needs and our desires to the heavenly father. And he already knows our desires. So what's stopping you, right? We serve a God with a thousand cattle on a hill. And that picture, what it reflected to my heart is like, she wasn't afraid to ask her father for her needs. And not only did her father give her more land, he gave her the upper springs and the lower springs, which represents that her earthly father gave her her desires, what she desired, but also gave her exceedingly abundantly more than what she even asked for. And that is what the earthly father can do for you, but how much more even for our heavenly father. The Bible says, if your earthly father, if you being evil know how to give good gifts, how much more do I? And so we have to stop being so shy about going to the Father with our requests and with our needs because he already knows what's in your heart, right? And if you're truly walking with God, you're not going to ask amiss anyway. You won't pray amiss. You're going to pray according to his word because you know his word. And that is why it's so important to study the word of God and meditate on it because when you are aligned to his truth, you're not going to ask anything outside of his will because guess what? He's going to put his desires for you in your heart. So what are you waiting for? Don't be afraid to ask the father for what you need. And I don't know who this message is for, but the Lord sent me here to say he is a good, good father. Make your request known today. All right, guys, I love you. And I just think that this was a twofold message too. Fathers, be so involved in your daughter's life. Build your daughter's life up. Make sure that... Um, you're preparing them for a man of valor and mothers and fathers make sure you're preparing your sons so that they be they're able to take the land and that they are so well equipped they are so well um, independent on their own as a man they have had some you know uh, victories under their belt before you send them out there to pursue anybody's daughters <laughs> make sure that they're well equipped to take the land right he made sure that the man that married his daughter had some accomplishments you all and this is another topic that I will go into but there are so many people that are allowing their daughters and their sons to marry and they don't even know who they are they have no accomplishments under their belt right and this is why we see so many divorces because it's all good when you ain't got no issues when it's love and roses and butterflies in the beginning but marriage is a commitment and you want to know that the person that you are marrying is someone that is a person of valor noble character so that's a topic for another day. All right, guys, I love you. Be blessed, short and sweet, under five minutes. You all go out and have a beautiful Saturday. I'm rooting for Colorado to win. They play Arizona today. And I hope they just, you know, monkey stomp them. Like, I want it to be just such a beat now. Like, 
yeah, I'm excited about it. I am cheering Dion on, Coach Prime and his son Shador. Go Colorado. All right, guys, see you later. Bye.